Hey guys, it's Nounce, and welcome back to another video. This video is kind of different, it is an After Effects tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to do countdowns like these. As you can see, I made three examples here. They are completely customizable, you can basically do anything. I have this first one with a scale, it scales in, scales out. This middle one um, is just rotating, and this other one, the numbers are falling down and scaling back in. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it today inside of After Effects. So we're going to be starting off with a new composition. We're going to call this count down announce. Okay. And we're just going to be making it one minute and 30 seconds. I guess that's how long we'll do the countdown for. You guys can do it any amount you want and I'll show you how to change that. Let's start off with creating a background here. Do a radial gradient like so, call it BG. Now to get started, you're going to need some text, obviously. So we'll start off by typing out our time here and changing the color to a nice gray there. We're going to center it. You need to separate these into separate text layers. Just duplicate it four times for each text layer. And I'll just remove everything I don't need from each text layer. And this will be the minutes position. Now we have all these numbers scrambled about. Just position them so it looks good. Now we can start off with the animation. We're, we're going to do it place by place. So we're going to start off with this one right here. Firstly, you want to go into the source text. And you want to hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch to start a expression you want it to be the seconds so to make this the seconds you want to start off creating a variable called s for seconds okay or whatever you want and then we want to take the time um and that'll create a well very weird number it shows the number of seconds and then the milliseconds after that so to get rid of that you just want to do math.floor oh my gosh that's not how you do it math.floor and that'll just truncate everything past the decimal now well we got seconds. Now it's counting up forever, and well, that's not exactly what we want. So what we can do is we start at the top of our countdown, which is 90 seconds, and we can subtract from that. Now it's counting down from 90. But we only want uh, 9876543010 because it's the ones place. We'll just, let's just rename this right now to ones. And to get the ones place here, all you have to do is create a new line, click S, and mod um, with percent sign and 10. This will basically divide it by 10 and display the remainder. We got what we wanted, so 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And keep on going. Now, we just need an animation. Now to do this, we're actually gonna have to create another layer and duplicate this one. So to do that, duplicate, we're just gonna change this to the same exact name. I'll just make a different color, but we do green. Move this one up a little. We're going to be creating this middle animation here where it just scrolls down. If you know the concept, you can create other animations too. So I'll just show you this one. So we have this uh, second number here. Uh, you guys have to set that. So just move it up however far you want. You won't see the top number until it gets in the range. So we're gonna start on 315 here. And then you gotta see how much it takes to get the exact amount down in here. So 315 to 510. 510 minus 315 is 195, I think. 195, yep. So now I know that you just have to add 195 to get the exact location. Now we set it back up to where it was before and now we create the animation. So what you can do, we're gonna start with the bottom one and you wanna make it scroll down. This animation has to take place within exactly one second and you'll see why later. So what we're gonna do is make a keyframe and make a keyframe exactly on the one second mark. Now you can create the animation inside this one second time frame here. I'm just gonna start on the 20 frames, I guess. We're gonna end it one frame before the ending here. It'll snap back up and you'll see why we do this. So I'll just make this a simple 80-80 curve and then I'll set the second keyframe to be down. We gotta take our number from before, which was 195, and we add 195. Now it goes 195 down. That goes down, snaps back up. So what we're gonna do is basically make the same animation up here, get a key from here, and then we add 195 to this right here. Well, you copy and paste the ginging to there, and you gotta make the same, same curve. If you don't want the same curve, I mean, it's gonna look odd, but you can be creative with this, make anything you want. So now these just go in sync, and as soon as it hits exactly where it was before, starting location, snaps back up. Now why is this important? Well, what we can do now, if you haven't figured this out already, so if you offset the top one by one second, make this instead of 90, 89 minus, now it's gonna be the one that the bottom one changes to in the next second. So if I look at this, it scrolls down, and then as soon as it snaps, 
it looks like nothing's changed in the middle. But in reality, what's happened is this one has snapped back up here, and this one has snapped back up here as soon as it's changed. So this one's displaying what this one is about to display. And then it changes to a nine, but it looks like nothing's changed. Um, you may have realized this already, but what you can do is just copy and paste these keyframes on top of one another over and over and do the same for the bottom one. And well, it'll do that animation. Snap, snap. But it looks like in the middle, nothing's changed. In reality, it just keeps on going. And obviously a much simpler way of doing this is the loop out expression. Put it in both of them and now it just goes on forever. Perfect. And the process from here is much simpler. We just do the same exact thing as we've been doing. This is why uh, it has to be in the time frame of exactly one second because the loop out function actually simulates you copy and pasting first keyframe on top of the last keyframe and it just keeps on copy and pasting and pasting and pasting and obviously some of you might realize that you can just parent this top one this bottom one in this case you don't need this you just have to parent this down here and then it does the same exact thing the reason why i showed you this way is because if you're doing like the scale animation from before where you have to scale it out uh there's separate animations for the top and bottom so parenting won't work so i'm just showing you this way so you guys can be creative with your animations so now we got that now we just move on to the let's rename this tens place pretty same concept as before start off with the source text expression remember hold down alt click on the stopwatch and copy and paste the before now it's going to show the uh seconds we don't want that to make it the minutes we keep the same s variable for seconds we are not doing minutes here we're doing tens place of seconds we can make it seconds if we just do s right that'll show us seconds to factor out the minutes you can just do 60 and now it's showing us seconds. Now we need the tens place. And the way I did this, there's probably an easier way to do this than just get the tens place. I divided by 10, and now it's 3, 2.9, 2.8, 2.7. And then I just did math.floor, and now it's 3, 2, yep, that's exactly how we want it. And then it flips over to 1 after that. Pretty simple. Now we duplicate it, make it a different color. Let's make it green, and now we add the animation. Very simple stuff once you get a grasp on it. Remember, we create keyframe here. Create keyframe at the one second mark because it's animate. It has to make an animation here. Keep in mind where your animations have to take place. So at the first second, there has to be animation for the ones place and the tens place, but not the minutes place because it's staying at one minute. Remember, if you were making like a five minute animation, all of them would be animating. So just keep in mind where your animations have to take place. We're gonna do the same exact animation. We're making keyframe there, make a keyframe there. Plus, what was the number again? 195. I'm pretty sure. And then we make these 80 80 curves and then does that and then we go back up here and make sure the position of this one is the same as this So it was at 315 up there and then we do the same animation boom bomb ba boop ba da boop Okay, plus 195, perfect. Plus 195 and make this an 88 curve. Now it animates down like this. And well, the last thing to do is to take the top one and make it one second offset. Actually, keep in mind that this is actually 10 second offset now because we're in the tens place. So that would be 80 instead of 89. And now it does this. You might've noticed we forgot something here. When it goes down here, it doesn't animate again. So we gotta make that loop out expression for it to animate out again, loop out. This one, loop out. Okay, perfect. Now it's looping out. As you can see, the tens place is animating every second. We don't want that. We want it every 10 seconds. What we do is go to the exact 10 second mark. K okay, last keyframe, copy and paste it on the 10 second mark. And now it, it considers all this as blank space and then takes all this and copies this keyframe. Now it'll only animate every 10 seconds. Now to move on to the ones place. Unlike the five minute, one minute, 10 minute countdowns, like those, all the places animate at the very first second. This on the other hand, this one stays as a one until the 30 second mark. So let's start off by by uh, doing the source text function here. It's gonna be the same thing as before. To make seconds in the minutes, you just divide by 60 and truncate it. Make sure that this is set back to 90 because I copied and pasted the 81 by accident. Make sure this is at 90 because it's a 90 second timer. That's a pretty simple way to get minutes, but let's say you're doing hours, you need to factor out the hours because this is going to say like 60 minutes and you don't want to say 60, you want to say zero and one hour. What you can do is take the mod, mod 3600 because this is how many seconds are in an hour. We did the same thing down here, how many seconds are in a minute and then we factored that out from there. Anyway, there's that and we just got to make that one single animation. So let's duplicate this, minutes, and I'll rename this one 
minutes as well. And we'll set it to green positioning. Start off with the keyframe there. Go to the one minute mark there. Not the one minute mark, sorry. The one second mark. Go here and go here and plus 195. Same process as before. Take this. And this is an 80 80 per as always and we'll do the same thing with this one up here which has to be at 315 i memorized the numbers now want to take that take that take that but this one has to be plus 195 we'll make this an 80 80 curve as always now we just need to make this 60 seconds off which happens to be for mine just 30 seconds and it doesn't even matter but as you can see for my specific animation, yours might work fine if you do this, but I need to animate this not at the beginning. You might be doing this at the beginning if you're doing a one minute, two minute, three minute timer because everything animates in the beginning, but mine does not. My one minute animation starts at the 30 second mark over here. So I'll just drag everything down and make sure that this last keyframe's on 30 seconds. Starts 29 and it animates down. And I gotta do the same for the green minutes up there. There we go. And it goes for some reason does that. Oh, sorry. I made it on the 30 second mark. It should be on the 31 second mark. That was kind of dumb. Okay, anyway, there we go. Yeah, that looked kind of weird. And as you can see, it is a perfectly working timer with just some weird stuff up here. It's a negative one up there because it obviously I don't have anything past zero if it goes past zero, which I can show you right now. As you can see, as soon as we get to the one minute 30 second mark, everything just snaps to negative one let's say you're making a two minute 30 second timer though and you have our, our 30 second thing here animating and you want it to loop well it's pretty simple from there you add the loop out thing as always but you want it to animate every minute keep in mind every minute because it is the minutes place after all you go a minute ahead which is the one minute and 30 second mark and you might make a keyframe make sure it's right on that frame forward and no frame before copy and paste those keyframes and now it'll animate every one minute if you were doing a one minute two minute five minute timer this would all be just a skewed it would be your first animations on the one second second animations on the one minute and so on it's just pretty simple to offset it if you have an odd timer like that and there we go i mean that was pretty simple you got one nice rotating timer beautiful and then you just render this all out put this in your starting soon stream whatever you know what do whatever you want with it there's our timer it goes like this to fix this issue i literally just pre-comped all this and then time remapped it uh because first of all you probably want the timer in a composition anyway without your bg because you want to be able to move it around without messing with all these weird keyframes pre-comped it named it countdown we have this and then we can move this around anyway once we get this to one minute 30 seconds which is the timer i just control alt t for time remapping added a frame there deleted this last keyframe over here and what it did as soon as it got to there it just stops to get rid of the top numbers here it's pretty simple <laughs> you just add a big rectangle of across the part you want it at name it matte or anything you want hide it and then get the effects and presets panel look up set matte drag it onto the first one change the target matte layer to matte and then copy and paste it to all of the layers and as you can see it's going to animate and cut off Perfect, you have a great timer here, animating everything, you customize it however you want. As you can see, I did falling down animations and scale animations, if you wanna take a look at those, I will leave the project file link in the description below. I'm sure you guys will figure it out, but you really need that much help. Hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects tutorial. I don't normally do these, but I came up with this concept myself and couldn't find anything online about it when I looked it up. So I'm like, what if I make something myself? Original content? I did, I attempted it and it worked. Strangely enough, if you guys have any tips for making this a little bit better, comment them down below. I'd love to hear about those. And like if you want more of these videos and comment if you want more of these videos. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell, and peace out guys.